really good to be back on the grass today. Um, you know, we uh, have some new coaches staff and uh, to get them back out there uh, teaching the new offense, uh, the things that we're uh, progressing to on defense around here it was really good to be out on the grass. Um, you know, getting to work with the guys. They've had a really good uh, four to five week off season with Coach Lou. And then I apologize for being uh, a little bit later. There you go, Jeffrey. You good? What if I hit that button? Don't do it. Okay. You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> um, so just in real time, I just grabbed the, the coaches because a lot of them are new to the organization. Just some real time uh, notes that I'd taken down throughout practice, how to make it cleaner, more efficient, um, to get even better work. Uh, I thought the guys worked hard, um, picked up on a lot of the new things that we're doing. We just wanted to get in there and uh, in real time get it addressed before I come out here and I uh, had this session with y'all. There was also um, walking off of the practice field, uh, one of the Georgia Tech students uh, that was carrying a football, really didn't have good ball security. Uh, so Mike Flynn and myself took about uh, three minutes to teach him how we carry a football on this campus. Uh, so I think that's, that's good, hopefully a lifelong lesson. Um, and then it is Student Appreciation Day on Saturday out of Rose Bowl Fields. Uh, hopefully all the, the students will come out and see us practice uh, behind closed doors. But with that, uh, questions. Okay, well, open up for questions. Rob, if you want to get started. Jeff, when you brought in the, the six new coaches yep. and had your staff meetings, did you sit down and maybe first look at how practices were being conducted and maybe ask for suggestions? I yeah, we, we did a whole evaluation of everything uh, that we do in the organization since December and even toward the end of the season. And uh, even as far as just how we even get out to practice, I don't know if you guys were out there for flex or before flex, those kind of things, but even that mechanism, uh, we've made tweaks, we've made improvements. Um, the way that our offensive staff wants to install and introduce, we tweak certain periods uh, to allow them more time and more uh, the ability to teach in the way that they want to teach the new system. So um, went on Tuesday uh, in detail our policy manual, which we usually do during preseason camp, but with them being so many uh, new people to the organization who I'm very excited about, wanted to make sure that no stone was un unturned, the expectations were out on practice, the expectations when we're coaching the young men that we're blessed to coach. So went in great t detail uh, with that on Tuesday, right before we got on the grass together with the fellas. And uh, we'll continue to uh, do that as we go. I guess kind of what was your evaluation of like how everything worked with so many coaches and all of that in the first day of the spring? Sure. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of time, a lot of investment into getting to know each other, getting to know the schematics, getting to know uh, the way we're going to play on both sides of the ball. And, uh, you know, I thought they hit the ground running. They spent a lot of time yesterday. The older, not the older, but the guys that have been on the staff for a while uh, even took some of the new guys out to the practice fields and showed them exactly where we're going to be doing the certain drills and what all the things that we say uh, for field landmarks what those mean to make sure there's no uh, stone on turn and we hit the grass, you know, the guys know where to go and how to do it and what the expectations are. Okay. Uh, Chip, when we talked to them before, you were saying something about how you felt like, you know, the, the team would be harder. Does that mean you feel like the, the, that group needs? Uh, aligning with what we preach in this organization, playing physical, playing really clean football, um, having an attacking style, um, and the physicality piece, the toughness piece, all of those things resonated uh, with what he's done everywhere he's been and uh, aligning that with what we're doing here. And I thought it, it's, uh, you know, this day one, we were just in our spider pads uh, and helmets, but I thought the attitude, the demeanor uh, was the right tone for day one of spring ball. And the, the biggest thing is every single thing that we're doing, um, even as from December up until now, all the way until September 5th, is to put the best version of Georgia Tech football that we can possibly put into it. So any words, any talking, any of those things, all that we're trying to do is work and build toward that moment to play really good football on college football Saturdays. Charles, can you talk about your 
for adjustments? Is there, you know, no, I thought I think uh, Dante Smith is, has proven uh, over the last couple of years in this program um, that he's a really good player and excited to see him uh, step up just the, the strength gains that he's made. He stepped into a leadership role that maybe he hasn't had to before, but been really proud of him in that regard. Hassan Hall, who's a local kid that transferred here, uh, transferred into here, uh, has real life speed. Hopefully, you guys got to see a couple of runs and even some routes today. Um, they, they, you know, he's real life fast. And we brought in Antonio Martin, uh, who's a mid-year true freshman into the program. And then we've got, uh, you know, a couple of walk-ons that are really good players. And there's a couple of runs, even Mike Daniels, uh, you know, saw the two, Daylin and England, and, the, the, you know, they work really hard. They've got some talent. Um, so it's a really good room. Rob, when you look at uh, taking advantage of players coming back from the COVID years, it seems like the linebacker position is one position that's yeah. really benefited you. Know, what are you seeing there? Yeah, I think uh, we all have seen over the last year the leader um, that A.C. Lee is and his demeanor and his work habits and how he plays, how he positively affects others. Um, the guys that have seen Charlie Thomas uh, grow within this program, uh, both physically and maturity level wise. Um, you know, I'm ju just really proud of that group. And then you have Demetrius Knight, who I think is weighing uh, close to 240, if not breaking 240, but still has tremendous movement skills, um, you know, tremendous passion for the game and for his teammates. And then you have some young guys like Trinidius Tatum, uh, Katavian Franks is back out there. Um, so just, and then Kyle Eford is a uh, mid year freshman as well. And I'm hoping I didn't miss anybody, but uh, it, it's a good group. And I think Jason Seymour uh, bringing him back, uh, who knows our system, uh, knows how we do things in this program, is, is a really uh, nice addition to help them get better. Jeff? Jeff, when you have such a pronounced turnover in the coaching staff, yep. how much of a challenge is it going into the season? Obviously, it's pretty important sure. to try to find some cohesiveness, not just among coaches. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a lot of time on that end. Um, and first and foremost, every single season is important. And uh, so the the cohesiveness and the, the understanding each other in the uh, film room as they're putting together the playbook, putting together the installs and the relationships uh, that we've been working to build over the last six weeks in the off season. And I think you guys all know we've got some amazing young men in this program. And uh, the guys have been uh, around the new coaches, around the new staff. And it was good to see them out there working uh, together today. And we've got 14 more of these and continue to build those and just get better, uh, work to get better every single day. Yeah, no, we're, we're very happy with the new guys that we got in. We had 12 spots uh, for January for the mid-year enrollees. We brought five uh, high school guys in, and then we brought, we were able to bring in seven transfers. And uh, the experienced guys in the locker room in the program, uh, teaching them the standard, teaching them how we do things. And, uh, you know, there's some talented guys. Uh, and the biggest piece that I, I'm proud of is uh, they've got some developmental traits and they work really, really hard, which is a really good combination. And there's some older guys that have brought them in and showed them the rope. So excited about them um, and just continue to work these next 14 practices. Uh, have a lot of stuff on tape that we can digest April, May, June, July as we get ready for preseason building uh, to be a really good football team come the fall. Right. Yeah, and you know we do a lot of one spot and rotate those guys in, and uh, you know we've done deep dives into uh, any and all injuries that we've had, you know, over the last year and then the last three years combined, um, and anything and everything that we can do to make adjustments uh, to keep our team healthy and. 
uh, different things that we can do to help in the aid of them recovering. Um, so that's been at the forefront of what we've done. Uh, really thankful for our administration for the support that they have um, and to the health, safety, and well-being of our student athletes. They've done some things in the off season uh, to really help toward that end. And I'm just really thankful uh, for our administration for doing those things to take care of our players. Okay. Yeah, but I, I, the biggest thing, Ken, is I'm excited about the people that have come in, um, the people that have joined the program. And we got uh, David Turner uh, has joined our staff on the defensive side of the ball and, uh, you know, has had a tremendous career. We were together at Mississippi State. And uh, I know the quality of a, a coach that he is. Um, and the same thing for Chip Long and Chris Winkie and Mike Daniels, uh, Jason Seymour, Travars Tillman, who was a, a seven-year player in the NFL, played at Georgia Tech, being able to bring him back home. And then we've been uh, you know, blessed to get some really good transfers in the program. Um, so I'm really excited about the people that we've been able to add uh, to the program. Jeff, following up Jeff's question, obviously the portals is the reality. Sure, the sure. Are obviously for a position, but when you have so many leave, do you take it personally? Uh, so that, the biggest thing is there's uh, – relationships that you build um, and really you know I talk about the, the love and the care that we have for the guys and the investment that we make um, and I think the biggest piece is like even you know with the guys that have graduated you know obviously um, you know you hate to see them go the guys that move on to the NFL you have such deep personal relationships with them and the same thing with guys that you know hop in the portal you know you have love and care for them um, but the guys that we've been able to add uh, you know, the guys that are on the roster, just excited the way they come to work, uh, the way they're focused, the way they're building bonds within this organization. They went out there and put in some really good work today. And the challenge to them is to keep building, keep growing closer together so that we play really good football come the fall. Can I try to ask a question in third way? Do you take it as any sort of rejection of, of what you're doing? Uh, yeah, I, I, I do not. You know, I just take it as um, we love those guys. We care about those guys. If they feel there's another situation that they need to, um, you know, we counsel them, have conversations with them. Um, but then you have to look to the guys that are on your roster, um, on your team, in your program, that you're blessed every single day to get to coach and focus on that and keep it moving. We saw last season how important it is to have more than one quarterback that can go out there and compete. Sure. Uh, watching practice today, it, it, uh, the thing that stood out was uh, Zach Gibson really throws the nice sure. ball. Sure. What, what are your, your plans for him? What do you see? From him? Yeah, well, I think, I mean, first and foremost, you know, we obviously want to talk about Jeff. Jeff uh, Sims has played a lot of good football for us. And, you know, the addition of Chip Long, the addition of Chris Winkie, a lot of the conversations going in was the development of the quarterback position. And uh, obviously Jeff having played the most football at quarterback position on this roster, his development, his growth, his leadership ability, all of those things, uh, Chris and Chip have done a really good job of um, coaching him, helping him, become everything that God made him to be. And I've been really proud of Jeff this off season. And to see him come out there with some new schemes and uh, some new reads and those kind of things and handling it at a high level, uh, you know, was, was really proud of him and just how he's handled this entire transition. The off season uh, has been impressive. And then you look at Zach and Zach, uh, Zach Gibson, Zach Pyron, new guys into the organization, how they've come in and just they dove in with Coach Long, Coach Winky, uh, to learn the system, learn how we do things. Um, and then they go out today and say, it's the first time I've seen those two throw a ball live and in person and uh, was not disappointed. Um, obviously, there'll be some things we all have to clean up uh, moving forward. And we've got 14 more practices to do so, get the systems in place so that when they hit the off season, they're doing things on their own. They've got a good grasp of what we're doing. Time for a few more, Reggie. 
Uh, I mean, they're all, uh, I always get excited for them. Uh, the outfit that you see right now is the outfit I slept in last night and uh, just fired up uh, to, to get out there and get on the field with the guys. We've been doing the off-season workouts, and the guys work really hard and all of those things. But actually, when there's a football being thrown around, and you're rocking that GT gold helmet, and uh, you're running around playing football, amps it up even more. But just the biggest piece is uh, getting to work, getting better, improving every single day, and knowing that we've got to continue to do that for 14 more practices and then throughout the entire offseason. I was just curious about the defensive backs and safeties in particular. You lost a lot of experience. Sure. Jay didn't play a good bit, but just kind of what are your expectations there? Yeah, the, um, there's a lot of opportunity for a lot of guys that um, have played some, um, have wanted to play more, are really good players, and now it's their chance. And you could just see a level of you know intensity and uh, focus, which is which is healthy uh, for them to go out there and make an impact. And there were some um, nice plays being made, but the the biggest piece in the secondary is just playing as a cohesive unit and a playing together, being all on the same page, all the same accord, communicating at a high level, and even with a lot of new things, both offensively and defensively today, the biggest takeaway that I wanted to see from that group was the communication piece. Everybody being on the same page, everybody being able or being in the same defense, playing the same techniques uh, all at once, and I thought for the most part they did that today, um, but we've got to continue to get better over these next 14 practices and through the offseason as well. Got any more wrap us up? Uh, it, it seems uh, kind of like the dispirited first day. And I, you know, I'm curious, just like, kind of what's your read of the team as far as its uh, attitude going, going into the day? Yeah. The, the, the biggest piece is uh, the way they just come out and work. You know, we don't have to hype anything up. We don't have to gas anything up or make anything more exciting than it is. We need to go out every single day, play really clean football, execute at a high level, play with a physical demeanor, play together, uh, all of those kind of things. That is the big focus right now is playing some really good football, playing together um, and executing at a high level. We've got to come out every single day with that focus, uh, with that demeanor, with that attitude, uh, to just work on getting better every single day and build until we get to September 5th and Mercedes-Benz and being a really good football team. And that is the focus in this organization.